Well, all right. I was going to give it a full two weeks before I actually decided about these super focused classes, but um, <clears throat> I can give my verdict now. In fact, I, I probably gave it yesterday uh, when I spoke to them, and yeah, thumbs up. Uh, whatever irritations uh, may come with these, and there are a couple, though they're very specific to like your environment or your activity, uh, way less irritating than what can come with progressives. The advantages of these far outweigh the advantages of the progressives. The big thing is, uh, for me, you have a total field of vision again. Uh, from edge to edge of the lens and that's really nice you can I find myself just moving my eyes to look at things again and rather than I have to be moving all over trying to look at something that's a, that's that's a real pleasure <laughs> after a number of years and a number of prescriptions with progressive lenses um, that's very, very pleasurable. It's, uh, it's driving, driving at night. Progressives, um, you know, you're looking straight, but the edges are going to be blurry. Um, these, you know, if I'm looking at, at you right now and I go like this to the edges of the lens, that's still clear. That doesn't happen with progressives. Uh, that is happening with these. Uh, it makes driving at night a lot better because lights are not flaring in a blurred kind of way in your periphery. It's all very straight up. Um, it makes for a beautiful walk in nature because you're seeing everything again. Uh, the other angle of this, and I, I haven't heard, heard this mentioned or, or read it with anyone else who has them, I, don't, I didn't realize how much tension I would hold in my eyes. I really noticed uh, the first time was driving, and I, you know, adjusted them, and my eyes relaxed. Um, and I've noticed that a lot watching TV or, or a lot of things. Uh, just, and it, it is so much so that if I can, if I feel that, I know to adjust the focus a little bit. So there's an aspect of this. If you're wearing progressives, you may not realize you're holding a lot of tension all up around your eyes, and you get these, and that goes away. And it's, it's a very noticeable uh, kind of thing, and it actually kind of helps you then adjust focus. Because, uh, conversely, because you feel that tension, you know something's a little bit off. Coming to that, the slider has gotten a lot, uh, a lot smoother. Yeah, um, I still sometimes kind of go like this. Per perfect right now. Uh, thumbnail, very back and forth. This is the boop, boop, boop uh, type of thing. So, so that's obviously was a really big issue for me. And this is a week and a half, wearing them every day. Uh, that's really improved. Um, having said all that, um, Cleaning's a little bit of a hassle. You have four lenses now, uh, so it's not just like kind of lick them off and wipe them on your shirt tail. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I guess I'm developing kind of a, a, a morning ritual before I go out. I, I set them down on a nice cloth, blah, 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 and clean all of them off. Uh, so that's a little problematic. Um, I have found that Oddly, I, I don't want to call it a sweet spot because I, I think that's a misnomer. How about a happy medium? Um, even right now, I'm sitting at the desk as I did before. I, I'm not so obsessively focusing uh, with them anymore, fiddling with them so much. I do tend to, it seems like, find kind of a spot. I, I, whether I'm adapting to that or, or what that is, I'm not real sure. Um, I still have periods where I'm, I'm really going, Wah. usually if I'm doing something kind of close up um, or kind of medium. But I've really noticed sitting at my desk and I kind of switch between a couple different uh, screens. Um, I kind of set it and forget it, as I say. And that's been, uh, that's been surprising. 
Uh, it's almost kind of counter, not counterintuitive, because we do adapt. Speaking of that uh, and the adaptation and both the irritations and positives of, say, progressives over these is in a classroom type of setting where you're looking up, looking down, looking up, looking down. Now, even there, you got to distinguish. You can have a classroom, you know, you're listening, it's a lecture, you're taking notes. You might, you could do okay with that, but what if you're doing like math and you're you're writing down quadratic radical equations, all right, <laughs> expressions? You got to get them correct, and it's it's definitely up and down. They don't work. Uh, I'm in a situation like that now. Uh, I brought my progressives with me to the class and switched uh, during those classes. Um, you really notice again how progressives distort things. Uh, I remember this from when I first got them. You adapt very quickly. But progressives have a fishbowl effect underneath. Your, your bottom, when you first put them on, it's like a curve. There's a distortion. Uh, aside from blurring outside you know, your periphery and so on, unless you're hitting their sweet spot. And uh, so in that situation, uh, having going back and forth really noticeable uh, that distortion and thus conversely also the clarity of the super frames. Um, so I have actually gone ahead and ordered the sunglass lenses which I would have originally have wanted. Um, looking at the costs, uh, I, there, some correction from the first the first thing. These are a little over or a little under. <laughs> A thousand dollars. That's the lenses with coatings uh, and the higher coated frame. So that's at the higher end. Now the sunglass lenses, prescription glasses, under two hundred dollars. Um, and of course, that's I think where it comes in. As I need new prescriptions, I just got to change the one set of lenses, and uh, you know that should be much more economical than what I was doing before. And I have to say, other than a couple situations, uh, very specific circumstances, these are just they're they're great. You know, it is kind of weird switching a bit, but uh, even as it loosens up, in particular, oh, I have a funny story. <laughs> just this morning, I'm in that situation with uh, I'm wearing the progressives, looking up and down. So I go into this folder of mine to look for a paper. I automatically went to <laughs> a couple times to change the switch, and I had to remember, oh wait, <laughs> the progressives on. <laughs> so there you go. It's automat. It's already becoming this automatic kind of and quick movement. Uh, you know, working really nicely with that. I can see then there is, you know, for a lot of people maybe in some situations a place for progressive lenses. And I, I'd say here, this is where the online eyeglass comes in. Uh, I've tried uh, online prescriptions and, you know, generally pretty pleased. Now, uh, you know, talking costs, they advertise for single vision glasses, a progressive lens, even for one of these very cheap online ordering places are going to be two, three hundred dollars, you know, also depending on your frame, but yeah, you know. And there's no hope of a, a return if these are wrong. I, I had one pair wrong, and here's the scary thing. Uh, I had another pair, you know, I bought like three or four. I had sunglasses and whatever, you know. Again, the cost ends up being equal, if not more. Um, I was way out somewhere. And, basically the country, like in some kind of picnic thing, and my online glasses, that lens literally crumbled in my hand. Crumbled. Uh, thankfully, I had a pair of prescription sunglasses, a little older, uh, in the car, uh, and there was this huge... <laughs> monster summer storm coming in, so it's like driving in the dark with old sunglasses on. So, um, but in a class, something like if you're in this kind of a classroom type setting, looking up, looking down, you know, this is, that's like buying over-the-counter reading glasses. Get a pair of online progressives that you're not really relying upon necessarily. Uh, but the costs are, you know, they all kind of even out in, in many ways, I think. Uh, 
you know, with the stuff you can initially pay. And the online, there's no refunds if something goes wrong generally or like happened to me. Uh, so, yeah, my verdict on Super Focus is a big thumbs up. Um, the, it would be better if they had little uh, distance sensing lasers on them that immediately could gauge where I was looking and change the focus. But for now, uh, you know, I have to say, yeah, so far so good. Um, really beautiful to have that edge-to-edge -edge clarity again. Uh, it's been a while. All right, that's it, folks. Later.